Welcome back to my channel. Shani's here of SM, the mobile notary, coming at you with another video. Now, I promise moving forward, I'm going to be so much more consistent with getting videos out between balancing the career, the actual business itself, and everything in between. It's a little challenging, but you have my word. Consistency is key, and it will be coming your way soon. Today's video is really special to me because I can really speak to this on a personal level. Um, being a loan signing agent. Now, I want to talk about the five most common mistakes that loan signing agents make. And these are not your technical day to day, document driven, printer driven, technology driven mistakes. These are five mental mistakes that most loan signing agents make and are probably still making as they're figuring things out. And even if you're also more experienced and you've been doing this for a while, you may also still be experiencing some of these challenges. So I just really wanted to make a video and speak to five most common mental mistakes that people make consistently. Just to give you all some context, as I was looking to become a loan signing agent, um, I was fearful. I was fearful that my background had nothing to do with being a loan signing agent that I would have to learn pretty much everything from scratch. I mean, I was nervous that I would be in front of clients and they would ask me questions and I would have no idea what the heck they were talking about. I did not want to look like I didn't know what I was doing. So that really prompted me to do so much research to really become a student at my training, to really dive right in head first. Yes, it was a positive thing because I educated myself to a point where I was able to answer questions that people would have, but it was also detrimental because as I was doing my research, it was not enjoyable. I was so anxious and nervous while doing it. And that's not a process that you wanna experience. You may be having your own struggles, whether you're just about to be commissioned, you're trying to apply for your commission, or you're just newly commissioned and you have a couple of signings under your belt. I believe this video can be helpful so you can avoid these five mental common mistakes that loan signing agents make. Let's go ahead and hop right in. If you find this video helpful at any point, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also check out my other videos on my channel as well. Let's dive right into it. Common mistake number one. Believing you have to be the expert. Now, I thought that I had to know every single document in and out. I thought I had to know how to explain what this was, what this was, where do you do this, how do you do this, why does this look like this? I mean, I was under the impression that I would need to really, really be educated on the documents. And there's some truth to that. You should absolutely be able to give the borrower a brief description of the document. But your role is not to explain the why. Why is my interest rate this? I thought my interest rate was fixed. This document says it's adjustable. That is not your job, that is not your role. Your role is to answer the where and the what. What is my interest rate? When is my first payment due? That is your role. If you start to really try and dive into an area of expertise that you're not familiar with, one, it could have legal consequences, and two, you're just really putting on unnecessary pressure and stress on yourself because you're trying to go above and beyond what your expertise is. Do not overthink this, do not overcomplicate it. You are more than capable of reading these documents and giving a one or two liner to explain what this is. Go back to your training. If there's additional support that you need, you know how to contact the lender and the title company. You know what document that is on to do that. You know how to confirm that information before the appointment. So there are some additional layers of support that you have that you should absolutely feel confident to tap into if a borrower is asking you questions that may not be in your field of expertise. Don't overthink, don't overcomplicate it. Your role is to explain the what, not the why, and not the how. Be confident in your training. That's why it's really important to choose a great training system because all great training systems will tell you that. This is not your role. Be okay with understanding that it's not your role. Which goes into common mistake number two. Thinking you can do this all on your own. You are absolutely capable of doing that. Yes, you can become a notary signing agent, a notary public without getting, without getting any additional training besides being commissioned. 
Yes, you can get your training materials from the NNA, right? And you can use that and study that and you would be pretty much okay to do your job properly. However, training systems are super duper important because they fill in the gaps that you may have not received. When it comes to marketing, when it comes to actually explaining documents in ways that make sense, when it comes to day-to-day -day practices, they will give you the context that you need. It's no reason to do this on your own or to try and do this on your own. There are so many successful loan signing agents out there. There are so many successful training programs out there. It's no reason to recreate the will. Trying to do this all on your own is great. And yes, you will make it, but you may not be as successful as you could be if you start networking with other notaries, understanding what works and understanding what doesn't work. It's easy to create a team and that starts from your training program. So really, really dive in and invest your time in your money. I understand that cost may be an issue for a lot of notaries starting out. It was a cost for me, but I really sat down and I was comfortable with the cost of my membership to build Soroka Sign and Thrive. And I felt that I would really get a good return on my investment. So really, really understand that it's important to choose a great training system. You can do this alone, but there is no reason for you to do that. Let's not recreate the will. Number three, a biggie. Confidence. Confidence is key. If you are not confident in yourself, not only will you feel like that, but the client will feel that way as well. You have to go into your signings being confident. You have to do your research being confident. Everything you've done up until this point, believe it or not, has prepared you to be a loan signing agent. And you may say, well, that makes no sense. I've never done this before. It's a new industry. You've given directions to strangers at some point, right? You've given presentations at work. You've learned a new skill or taught a new skill. These are all transferable skills that will create and build a successful loan signing agent business. So you have the skill set. Tap into that. It's okay to be anxious and nervous, but do not doubt for a second that you are not more than capable of being a successful loan signing agent. Confidence is key. Confidence, confidence, confidence. I cannot say it enough. Common mistake number four. And this one is really for folks that are thinking about becoming commissioned. Making excuses. Now, it may seem very obvious, right? Like, of course, that's a mistake. But we make small excuses that really impact us in the long term. For example, if you are in an attorney state, an attorney must be present at the signing table. An easy excuse to not move forward is, oh, I don't want multiple people at the table. I don't want to look like I don't know what I'm doing in front of an attorney. I don't want the clients to feel like I don't know what I'm doing. Now I have this person here who could be telling me how to do my job at the table. I don't want to feel that embarrassment. I don't want to feel nervous. I don't want to feel that fear. And that can easily persuade you to not move forward. And now you're missing out on hundreds to thousands of dollars because you are afraid of being uncomfortable. Making excuses today impact the results that we have tomorrow. So really, really push yourself to check yourself when you start to make excuses. Well, I can't do this because of this. Is that really true? Ask yourself, is this a legit reason for me not to move forward? And if it's not, there you go. That's a moment of reflection you can have with yourself to really understand how successful this business could be for you. Stop making excuses. We are all guilty of it at some point. Just don't do it. But if you want to have a successful business, if you want to be a successful loan signing agent, you have to mentally prepare for that and be able to hold yourself accountable when you feel like you're making an excuse because you're uncomfortable. Last but not least, common mistake number five. Now you're commissioned and what, right? You don't maximize your commission. You underestimate the amount of time that it takes to really become a loan signing agent and not just taking signings. I'm talking about sitting down with yourself for an hour or two and continuing to educate yourself, really maximizing your time. It's great to practice and then once you get your commission, it's like, yay, victory. And it's easy to become complacent. It's easy to just rely on signing companies. And if that's the route you want to take, then great, more power to you. But if you really want to maximize your earning potential, getting your commission is just step number one. This is a continuously growing field 
folks are finding new ways to make more profit. They're finding more ways to increase their business and enhance their business, adding new services to their loan signing agent business. So it's really important that you keep that hunger that you first had when you were newly commissioned. It's really important that you really understand that this is going to be a long-term investment. You may not need to study the closing disclosure as much as you did in the beginning, but maybe your focus should now be, okay, what other services can I add to my business? Do I want to offer a pastel services? Never underestimate how much time and energy you need to invest into your business to make it successful. No one else is going to make your business successful for you. Yes, signing companies are great. And if you want to solely rely on those to make money, that's totally okay. But even then, the industry is competitive. You want to start doing things that set you apart from your competition. So being commissioned is just the first step. Stay hungry. Keep going after it. And I know I said I was only going to give you five common mistakes, but I'm throwing in a bonus. And that bonus is not stretching yourself thin. It's so easy to become overwhelmed, especially when you're just starting out. If you're thinking about marketing, you're thinking about how to grow your business and you're still learning documents, that's a lot to balance at once. It's so easy to get overwhelmed. If you have a business plan, that eliminates all of that stress. Maybe you have to sit back and say, hey, for January and February, I'm solely gonna focus on marketing. For March and April, I'm gonna shift my focus this way. If you have a plan, it makes it so much easier to not be overwhelmed and to not be anxious. Because when you get in that space, you cannot perform properly. I've been there and trust me, it's not a good feeling. It took me all about two days to be in that space to say, hey, let me reel it back. Let me come up with a timeline, a schedule, and a plan that makes sense for me so I can really reap the benefits of all this hard work that I'm putting in. And it's a common point that notaries hit and they hit a wall and that's it. And then they don't take any signings for maybe a week or two because they're so overwhelmed and anxious. Do not let that be you. Plan, plan, plan. So I do hope that context was all helpful to you all. Not only have I experienced these challenges, I've also have colleagues who've experienced these challenges as well. So I definitely just wanted to make a video just to talk about it briefly and to give you some things to look out for. Whether you're thinking about becoming commissioned or you're already commissioned or you're just deep in the field already and you feel like you know what you're doing. I feel like everyone can benefit from this material. We are never too experienced and we're never too inexperienced to learn. I do hope that video was helpful to you. Again, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other videos on my channel. Until next time, SM, the Mobile Notary, out.